And there we are, all finished. Second coat on this little section because these two have had second coat. So that will probably need a third coat because it was bare wood. But that is on order, the little hatch. And is due to arrive, I think, tomorrow or sometime before the end of this week. And Philly has now placed the wood back on there and we are one step closer to having radiators in. Yep, so I have redone the battening underneath and this panel is in. And to be honest, because I've done it differently, the window ledge is much more secure. So actually I'm a lot happier today than I was yesterday, um, having made a slight mistake. But as everyone said in the comments, and as is our mantra, you learn from your mistakes. So mistakes are simply learning. So that's good. That's looking much neater, doesn't it? It needs some perfecting, doesn't it? But it's yeah, good. some sanding and then possibly like final fill, but it means I can at least give a coat of paint or something on it today, I think. So you're just sanding and perfecting. I think there's probably going to be a little bit when you sand that flat, just little surface stuff, but it won't take long to dry, will it? No, no, it's pretty much almost instant, but not really. But yeah, it's uh, I think it's good. So for anyone that's not watching, do you want to explain what you did to this little corner? Yeah. Sorry, th not watching, that hasn't been watching previously. <laughs> so this corner or this part of the skirting board was missing and it was plain and sort of non-continuous. So I found a piece of um, skirting board that was out in one of our um, outbuildings, bread oven. And um, because it was such limited uh, length, literally perfect size to this, I had to um, inventively fill it, um, two different fillers, and uh, today is the final day, so it's looking really good. I'm just gonna sand and then hopefully paint over and then no one's gonna know any difference that it was missing, and it's gonna be a really lovely, nice finish. So sometimes you have to be inventive. Super, so basically just finding a way to fill up missing wood <laughs> with filler to, so it does look like it all joins. It'll look wonderful, well done. Thank you very much. And an extra skill learnt, I think. <laughs> and now back in the room, and now that this corner is lovely and set everywhere, and lovely and neat, I'm gonna get on with painting that. The, this part I'm not gonna touch, and nor none of these, because this is a different kind of paint will be applied to this. It's only the glossy part of the skirting that's being done. So time to put on the first coat. And there we are, first coat done. And I'm sure you'll agree it looks really wonderful. And hopefully by the end of it, even now, uh, people would be saying, repair? What repair? So it's looking really, really good. So I'm pleased. It's my first time doing it. But this corner, which was completely gone and I had to fill it, is looking sharp like a corner should be. So that's amazing. I'm, uh, I'm really, really, really pleased with the new skill learned. Oh, I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs. Obviously, we are not just renovating that room. We are doing lots of things in this place and that's why we don't always have time to just crack out an entire day in there, let alone the fact we both have full-time jobs. One of the other things that we are doing at the moment is putting up those wardrobes, the, those beautiful old French armoires that we bought some time ago. So we're back now and we have the furniture, but you can't wait to see what it is. So I'll show you, this was a whole bedroom set, including beds, two bedside cabinets, and um, we've even got three armoires here. So, look at that. Isn't that beautiful carving? Real good detail. Not just carved, but it's like real amplique. And, better still, real marble tops as well. I can't wait to uh, polish that up. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really a rare piece. So, we've got two of them. 
Uh, over here I have, which is my favorite design. It's the uh, serpent design. And I've actually, I've got a bed like this, it's just a wooden board, but I've never actually come across one with padding in a serpent design, so this is a first for me. Um, I've got a few padded ones, but this one's beautiful. I really like the design of it. It's, uh, it's nice, like strong blue going into, fading into a lighter blue, and it's beautiful. We'll need some uh, shampooing and cleaning and polishing, but otherwise it's absolutely stunning. Like this is, I think, the pinnacle of when you think of about French furniture, for me anyways. And then, so the wardrobes are all apart, a bit like, um, flat pack wardrobe, okay? They come apart. Here is what the base of these look like. Look at that carving detail. This is literally at the base of it. And then uh, this is the top of it. Look at that. Now I already see there is some potential, I think, um, woodworm in there, so I'll need to spray that, but it's a beautiful color scheme, a really nice design and uh, i'm really glad i got three of them now they are all pretty similar matching let me show you the other ones here is the head and the footboard of the uh, wardrobe so just like the bed it's got that beautiful serpent design and very very elegant and beautifully well it's not even carved is it it's it's like um applique 3d applique it's very beautiful work and this is the base of it. This is the footboard. So I haven't had such a design in the middle as yet. So I'm looking forward to putting this one together as well as all the others. That is going to be very grand indeed. And here, of course, I have the beautifully carved doors. Look at that design there. And better yet, it's all beveled edge. So this tells me this is an original uh, glass. Um, fitted onto these doors oh hello lightning hello what is it my beautiful what is it you like this furniture is it nice come and say hello to everyone whoa whoa whoa, whoa. and here is the rest of the beautiful furniture or namely wardrobes this is one of them it actually has the top cut off as you can see from it but um i actually have spare pieces for this uh, that the person has given me now these two are two different wardrobes as you can see by the design so um we'll unravel it i think it's meant to go this way although i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know i'll know when i put this together this is another beauty, look at that. This is my favorite design, I always say that. Um, and the matching doors for these are here. This one's quite nice uh, and has got detail. Um, I love the lock detail here as well. It's very beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to enhancing that look. It does look a bit tarnished. This, uh, these doors, however, don't have any real detail on them and no lock detail. So I'd be looking to get some nice decorative strip on there. But even though these doors are plain, the wardrobes themselves are not. They are beautiful and I can't wait to put them together and if you'd like to follow and see that transformation and see what they all look like and how to look after French furniture then make sure you subscribe and click that bell button so you don't miss any of the lovely videos coming up. Somebody when we went to pick one of them up took them apart a little bit more than they should be to try to help us out before we picked them up so it's turned into a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Which way around is this going? I think the thicker end. On the other side? Yeah, I think. I don't know. That's another good question, is it? Oh, but then he's got V here. Mm. Mm. Oh, but it does look like it's thicker. Basically, these rear panels aren't actually supposed to be taken apart. You can, but it's unnecessary. 
now we've got to work out how it all goes back together. Okay, after much confusion, some swearing, and some hurt fingers, two of these are now up. And of course, this is the one which, unfortunately, someone had taken apart way too much and uh, turned into a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle. We just need to, I need to fix the hinges either side here before I hang these properly, the doors. Just some damage here. And it's only on the top one. Oh, it's starting down there. And the middle. So, just want to do that before they're put into use. So I'll do that a little bit later. I'll show you the other one in a second. Look at just how pretty all of these bits are. And then look at that. This would be a much nicer room with these in. This is the small of the two in here. This is much easier to put up, instant. Look at this. Isn't it cool? Very, very nice. And then, legs nowhere near quite as ornate, but I think really, really pretty. Just need to give this a decent wipe down now, clean the glass, etc., and put it into the right place. There's a bit of shuffling around in this room. Mm -hmm. 